All right, we're all working hard trying to find ways to get paid in this day and age. So let's skip the long intro and let's jump right into it. Let's talk about how do you monetize your stream? All right, let's talk about the first form of monetization. This is what most people go for at first, which is the affiliate slash partner model. So most of the platforms have an application where you can become a partner or an affiliate, depends on your audience size and different requirements. And once you do this, you unlock revenue sharing on the platform. So any ads that run on your stream, you can trigger them or the platform can determine how many ads you get. You get a percentage of that advertising revenue. So when you start out, it's usually like 50-50, then as you grow, it can get better in your favor, like 70-30. And then it opens other opportunities for monetization. So a lot of platforms have some type of currency that people can purchase and then use on your channel. And this will be things like Twitch bits or trigger little special stickers and you'll get revenue from this. Additionally, there's things like subscriptions. So basically people will pay a subscription to your channel. You'll earn a percentage of this, like either 50, 50 or 60, 40, and it'll unlock special features on your channel. So, you know, you can get special badges or special emoticons, different things that your chat can use to interact with you on your channel and stay subscribed to you. All right, so likely on your way to becoming a partner or an affiliate, you're gonna wanna generate some type of revenue or get some type of support from your community. So you can do this through tipping platforms. So platforms like Stream Elements will give a tipping page. People can send you whatever money they want. Usually it goes directly to you with a slight service charge to it. And these platforms also add tools like alerts or special messages or special goals, things that you can add on your stream through a web page and it'll show the progress of a goal or, or a certain alert or animation and you could thank the person for tipping you. Alongside of this, you can also have things like Patreon. So Patreon allows people to, again, subscribe to you and if they subscribe to you in different amounts, they basically can unlock different things. So you can do things like, okay, you're gonna play games with your Patreons or there's a special Discord server or something where people can have special access to you for basically supporting you and your dreams. All right, so once you've established yourself and grown your audience, you might wanna start going for sponsorships. So sponsorships can vary, but usually they have the same kind of obligations. You have to use a product or put up a logo or shout something out on your stream. Now, how you get sponsorships can vary. Some platforms actually offer sponsorships. They can say, play this game or use this product or talk about this or put this logo up and you'll get some money for it. If you go out for your own sponsorships, Make sure to be ready. We created a video on how to go for sponsorships that you can check out. Just click the link above. So when you're going for these sponsorships, just some key things is make sure to make a deck, you know, have metrics on your audience, maybe show how you'll interact with the product and why people should work with you. Now, a lot of times when people first get sponsorships, it's usually a product sponsorship. So they'll get some item and just get to keep that in exchange for the shout out. Then as they grow, they can start asking for money and different things. There's also sites where you can sign up as an influencer and they'll offer deals from time to time. This is outside of your streaming platform. And finally, once you're at a certain level, you'll probably want an agent. An agent will go out and find deals for you. Of course, everything comes at a price. All right, another popular way of generating revenue is via affiliate sales. So affiliate sales, a lot of sites will let you sign up for their affiliate program. And what these sites let you do is you find a product on the site, you can generate a URL. This is pretty common with Amazon and then you paste that URL and anyone that goes to that URL and buys a product, you get a commission from it, usually like about 10%. Each affiliate's different and each has different terms and you need to hit certain thresholds before you get paid out and make sure to take note of all this for your taxes. But this is a good way to kind of passively earn income. This is probably more useful for VOD creators, but for live streamers, if you have say a chatbot command that posts links for your setup, people will go buy it and you'll earn some money. All right, so once you've built up a sizable audience, it's probably time to sell some merch. So merch can vary. It can be, you know, a t-shirt, that's probably most common, hats, cups, mugs, whatever you want. But you'll need to use a site that can produce and sell the merch unless you have your own t-shirt business for some reason. But there's things like Spreadshirt or Fanjoy where you can upload your designs. Some of them have different restrictions and you can link your fans to it, then go ahead and buy it. Sometimes they have requirements on how many products can be bought before they're shipped. You know, as you grow, you can work closely with brands, maybe do like bulk orders of items and you can get creative when you do bulk orders. Like you might have a eraser or something that's unique to your brand that you think your audience will be into rather than the regular t-shirt. 
Of course, you can also do crafted items. So you can use sites like Etsy and do things like maybe if you're an arts and crafts person, you do painting, maybe you stream yourself doing art or drawing, you can then sell that to your viewers, whatever you can to work in the throes of capitalism and uh, satiate the demand of the viewing masses. So if you've done a lot of the things I've already talked about in this video, you're probably a really knowledgeable person and that knowledge has value. So one of the last things I want to talk about on how you can monetize your whole streaming experience is by creating educational content or being a consultant. So you can create a series of courses on whatever you've learned about streaming or whatever you've learned in your craft. Maybe you're an artist or a painter, create Skillshare or Udemy courses that you can then sell and you can earn basically passive income that way. And you can promote them on your stream and give coupon codes and discounts. Additionally, you can host webinars. So you can use that live streaming skill and host private webinars to teach people about things. So, you know, you might want to teach people why it's not good to take a second mortgage or empty your savings account to purchase that 8K streaming setup. Whatever you can, whatever can be helpful to people, share that knowledge. Knowledge is power, knowledge is money. So that's another way to do it. Anyway, if you have any questions about anything we've covered in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful to you and we'll see you next time.